I let's talk about metric. So you are given an environment binary metric mat. So return a distance of the nearest zero for each cell. So this question is pretty simple. Um, I'm going to draw it and then you'll be able to understand pretty quickly. So uh, basically this is one is because the nearest zero is actually one, right? And um, okay, this question is too easy. So let me do this one. So this is one is because the nearest is actually one. This is one as well. But this is actually two, right? Uh, if you can actually see a diagram, I mean see the answer for the output. This is two. So the final solution it should be two. So how do you actually do it? Okay, let me just guide you through it. So basically you are going to create exactly the same metric. And if you see zero, zero is your uh, zero is actually your um, your current default metric. And if you see any one or anything other than one, I mean other than zero, then you don't uh, you don't care about it. So when you want to traverse the zero, you will basically uh, just have to go through uh, your zero neighbor. So this this zero neighbor will be left, bottom, and right. And this uh, this will be uh, right and bottom. And this one will be left and bottom. And you and then you could be have top, right? So you have four direction, four direction. So basically, you just have to add every single zero into your queue, and then you will pop, you will pop, uh, you will pop. Sorry, you will pop every single uh, zero from your queue, and then just making sure the four direction, the four direction that uh, left, right, bottom, top, is actually current assigned to the value. If the cell doesn't assign to the value, you have to assign. So you have, you will have a counter, so you are starting from zero, and then one uh, whenever you traverse the queue, and you will just increment your counter by one, so you will definitely find out. Uh, sorry. So you, basically, you will definitely find out. Uh, this one and this one and this one first, right? And then later on. Uh, you will assign these cells, these cells, and this cell into your queue, and then later on you will find out your current value for this. This cell is actually two because I increment my counter, right? So this is the solution. So let me just write it. So I will have a queue. I will pass in the queue uh, in the array. So you give me the i and j direction, which is x and y doesn't matter you use. So I'm going to queue equal to new uh, new linked list. And I will try. I will traverse the map. So map dot length i plus plus for in j to zero j less than map zero dot length j plus plus. And then if map j i j is actually equal to zero, I'll just have to push over new in my i j, which is the coordinate, right? And if not, then I will just assign ij equal to negative one. So I only care about zero, right? And I'll have a, I'll have a, I'll have four direction, four direction uh, array. So direction equal to new in, and then this will be uh, dom, and this will be top, and. Oh, sorry. This is left. This this is left. This is right, and this is down. This is top, which is up, right? Okay. So, well, okay. And I need a counter, so I will say counter equal to zero. So, oh, okay. Well, the queue is not empty. So I store every single zero into the queue and then I will pull, right? But just want to make sure the current size, the current zero is actually the queue dot size. Because at the end, at the end you will uh, uh, offer, I mean add the, these cells, these cells, and these cells into the queue. So you cannot just traverse, you, you cannot just, you cannot traverse like this. 
this is not a lot because the Q dot size is dynamic folding depending on your pulling and then pushing so it's not working so just making sure uh, the current size for the Q is actually the Q dot size then I will have to increment my counter then traversing the size current size of the Q right so when I traverse I will know that this is my current um, I mean the first position, the first cells are four, right? So in uh, cell, right? Equal to Q dot four, and then um, when I pull this cell, so I, I will have to check my four direction, right? Four in the I directions. So I will have an X. So direction, the first integer is zero, right? Then plus my current cell is 0 This is my current direction for x And current direction for y And I'm going to making sure the, the x and y is in the max rate, the So it's not out of bound, right? So which is uh, x is less than max dot length And x is greater uh, equal to 0 and y less than uh, max come on max 0 dot length and y greater equal to 0 okay. so if this is in the bound right then I have to check if the current cells is actually assigned or not assigned right so this is not assigned negative 1 is not assigned right so I would say if mat ij, so which, oh sorry, is xy, is xy is actually equal to not assign. Okay, my keyboard is not working well. So if this is not assigned, I will just assign right away to my counter. And also I will have to add into the queue because this will be, uh, I have to check the the neighbor of these cells does these cells is actually um, affect the neighbor if there is uh, one cell not assigned you have to assign right so q dot offer dot new hints at, at x and y right and later on you will just return mac so this question is pretty standard and if i have a if I make a mistake, it could be typo. Yes, okay, I don't make a mistake. Alright. Uh, let's talk about time and space complexity. So if you if you're familiar with this kind of uh, kind of solution, you know I'm traversing every single line by line, right? Row by row. So it, this is actually very first search. And the time and space complexity is is actually all of m times n so i'm going to copy and paste right over here so time is m times n this is because uh, you're traversing right and then for space for worst worst scenario right you will have to add every single cell into a queue and basically this is the solution and if you have any questions leave a comment below subscribe if you want it and i will see you next time and peace out